Hello, Linux community. Um, today I want to share, um, yeah, maybe just, you know, a small um, hack that I feel is really, really precious and valuable if you happen to just use Microsoft software from time to time, as I have to do. Um, and the thing that bothers me um, is that, you know, I really, really like Linux and I just prefer to stay in my Linux Ubuntu um, system all the time. But then sometimes I'm just receiving documents that I need to open with Microsoft Office. And um, and why there's like solutions such as Play on Linux and Wine, you know, to, to, to install Microsoft Office um, sort of natively in your Linux environment. Oh, it's just not something that I, you know, that I really, really like because it didn't feel smooth. It didn't feel like properly integrated. So th the best alternative that I found for myself was actually a virtual machine. And um, the cool thing is you don't even have to purchase a license to use Microsoft and Microsoft Office um, on Linux. So here's the thing. Microsoft itself offers virtual machines. That, that's quite funny. And they are for free. So if you go to, you know, if you just Google download virtual machines, Microsoft, you should get to this page, which, which is like hosted at dev.windows.com. And then like, you know, this obscure link will probably add it to the description. Um, so, and on this side, what they basically offer you is virtual machines to test the Internet Explorer for some reason. I, I don't know why they want you to test Internet Explorer on a virtual machine, but what you can do is you can download, you know, your just needed Windows operating system um, for your virtual machine on Linux. So make sure you're on the Linux tab. I selected for myself um, the IE 10 on Windows 7. Um, or was it the IE 11? Maybe it was the IE 11 on Windows 7. So basically the latest Windows 7, because I don't need Windows 10 um, just to run Office. And then I selected VirtualBox and then like, you know, I'm offered with this virtual machine zipped in an archive. I just download it. And once it's downloaded, you extract it and you get your virtual image, your virtual machine, which you can then import, you know, you import your appliance and then it should show up as your virtual machine in your list. And here comes the thing. If you, if you take a look at your virtual machine here on this side, it explicitly says, please know that these virtual machines expire after 90 days. <clears throat> so they are actually only usable for 90 days. So if you, you know, if you keep your virtual machine just as it is, you know, by the time it will just expire and it will like, you know, present you with this information. Oh, your machine has expired. Um, or your license has expired. Um, consider purchasing a license which of course you don't want to do because you just occasionally need this Windows machine. So I didn't see any reason to just, you know, buy a, a license just because I need to run it once once in a month. So, but it also actually recommends you to, you know, to set up a snapshot to roll back. So apparently it seems to be perfectly legal to create this, um, to create a snapshot in VirtualBox and then to always roll back you know, to the day when it was still activated. So, you know, like for example, here I created a snapshot 23 days ago. Let me see, how can I get to information? Show details. So it's Windows 7 rearmed, um, Office 2013 trial period, um, plus simplified, simplified notifications tray. So I just gave it a description of what was the state of my virtual machine at that, on that day. And it was rearmed because, you know, it, it, it ran down and I forgot, you know, to take a snapshot before. So it ran down, I rearmed it, got another, I think, 30 days of my trial period. And now each time, you know, Windows presents me with this actual status, um, oh, sorry, your license is expired. I can just roll back to this status. So this is the machine. It's perfectly running. You know, it has Office now, the, the trial version. And um, it doesn't present me with any information that I should activate it or anything. It's just like, of course, here, you know, this information actually shows me 
how to rearm also, which you cannot read now for some reasons. Um, so and and once it you know once it expires, I just go to um, take a snapshot. No, here I could take a new snapshot, but I don't want to take a new snapshot. I just want to roll back. Um, which I think, let me close it again. Power of the machine, restore current snapshot, save machine state. Let me just get back to this main menu because I feel here I can then I can then go back. Yeah, restore selected snapshot. So once it's expired, I just roll back to this, you know, state that I just checked because it was perfectly rearmed. It had office, all I needed um, to have Windows running and, and working. So that's all I wanted to share. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, you know, perfectly legal just way to get office, you know, without any license. And just like it's so easy to install and to just run um, in the Linux environment. So um, I felt like, you know, maybe it's useful to someone and um, I hope you yeah, find use in it. So take care and only use Windows occasionally, I hope.